this video, we're going to look at what we can do with division, or a fraction, same idea, and exponents. To set this up, I want to consider a to the fifth over a cubed. a to the fifth in the numerator really means we've got five a's that are multiplied together. And a cubed in the denominator means we've got three a's multiplied in the denominator. Now, with fractions, if everything's multiplied, we are allowed to reduce common factors. And so, if we divide out an a, divide out another a, and divide out another a, we see there are only one, two left, or a squared is what's left. Looking for a pattern, we could have looked at the exponents of five and three, and known that we'd end up with two simply by subtracting the exponents. If three are going to divide out, five minus three, two will be left. So this is the quotient rule of exponents, where if we've got the same base over division, we simply subtract the exponents, m minus n. So for example, if we're considering a to the seventh b squared over a cubed b, we can simplify this first with the a's by subtracting the exponents, seven minus three, leaves four a's behind. On the b's, the denominator has b to the first. If there's no exponent written, we assume there's a one. Two minus one leaves us with one b, and we don't really need to write the one. So this will simplify to a to the fourth b. Let's take a look at another example. In example two, we have eight m to the seventh n to the fourth over negative six m to the fifth n. First, with the numbers, because there's no exponents here, just numbers, we'll reduce those like always. Both are divisible by two, leaving four over negative three. And then for the m's, when we subtract the exponents, seven minus five leaves us with two, or m squared. And on the n's, we'll subtract the exponents, four minus one is three. And so we have four over negative three, m squared, n to the third power. The quotient rule of exponent tells us that if we have the same base over division, we will subtract the exponents.